Hey, what's going on everybody? Good morning. Welcome back. So day two of our, I guess we'll call it possible practice for the Bassmaster Open. I'm still number nine on the waiting list. Fingers are crossed that I can actually get in and fish this tournament. I realized actually last night that the field is capped. So for the boater side, it's full field right now. It's 225 boats. The co-angler side is not full. So I'm gonna give them a call today and see if I cannot get off the waiting list as a boater, if I can at least fish as a co-angler. So I think either way we'll be fishing it, whether that's out of this boat as a boater or in someone else's boat as a co-angler, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to at least be able to fish this tournament. So it'll be fun, but I'm gonna to continue to pre-fish it just because I'm just out fishing, having fun and learning and you never know. There's sometimes, you know, that one-off shot that nine people uh, have to drop out. So we'll see what happens there. But today, getting out roughly about the same time as yesterday. I'm actually starting in the exact same spot I started yesterday here in Queens Creek. I overshot where I wanted to go by a little bit. Hopefully we can find some fish and find some new spots here mid-river today. All right, all right, all right. Four rods on deck, just like yesterday. Caught fish on two of them. I'm gonna throw this chatterbait around. Same one I was getting bit on yesterday. We'll see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Way off the bed. First fish of the day. A little keeper bass. He ain't much. He's pretty skinny too. He went. That's funny. So I had to check something on my phone real quick, and the nose of the boat kind of rolled in. And I looked on the side imaging, and it looked like once that boat turned, there was a ton of fish like out here in the middle. And since it's almost dead low. I think those fish could have been pulled out here from the bank. I don't know, we'll see if we can catch a couple more. Check the live scope here. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, right there. They're all right. Yep. Little one, pretty quick. I'm right off of that there tree. He was at the end of it, or he followed it out and ate. Maybe right on the edge of the little break there. Tiny. Smallest fish of the day. However, that's, uh, you know, two or three of the fish that have been caught out of wood. Not that I can really fish the grass right now. That was insane. <laughs> that was so freaking cool. Hello. Number four. Uh, I think this is the biggest of the day. He might be just, just now. I wanted to say two pounds, but not there yet. Almost. But they're definitely stacked in the wood. I was working this on the surface. Basically, I was watching it come through the water, and he just came out like a freaking musky. Sideswiped it. Oh, something's right there. I 
I mean, on the bank. That fish was pressed into that cypress tree right there. I don't know if it was big. I didn't see it. I just saw the wake it pushed off. Seems real froggy. I gotta try throwing a frog for a little bit. Is there that shallow? I mean, like pushed up against the bank. I think it'll work. As soon as I stopped it right there, a fish came up under it and swiped on it. I saw the flash and I saw his tail going down. That's pretty interesting. It might just want it moving. Like as soon as I stopped it, if I'd kept it going for maybe another two seconds, he might've actually ate it. It was not big. <laughs> oh god i'm sorry dude just domed him probably 45 minutes since i've been bit but we'll say 35 of those minutes I was uh, working my way across a mud flat very slowly. Here is the dealio. Something's going on with the Ultrax. That last spot where I stopped, it was working fine. And then all of a sudden, it just stopped. It's like dead stopped. But I could still turn it, so I know it's still got enough power to do that so I don't know why it wouldn't be enough to at least turn the prop so we're gonna test it again pray that it works is just like not let's try turning it off and turning it back on please be the fix no pin's good is there something wrong with this here button All right, I guess it's time to troubleshoot and then call it a day. Can't figure it out. All right, so got the boat home, did a bunch of troubleshooting on this trolling motor. I could not get the prop to spin for hours. Like it took me a lot of tinkering with this thing to figure out what the problem was. Took the lower unit apart and found this gem. So the wire going to the brush obviously is very burnt and split. So I'm gonna try my best to replace that. I think it's like 13 bucks for two. Hopefully a cheap fix. Even if the armature is broke, I think that piece is like $100, $110, something like that. So not too bad. Honestly, I pretty much took this entire trolling motor apart and there's nothing to these things. It's crazy. Still on the wait list for the open. I would have to get this fixed if I were to fish as a boater. There's some craziness going on right now with a gas shortage. I'm wondering if there's gonna be more people that are gonna drop out. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next video to see. If I cannot get in as a boater, I'm hoping they'll let me switch to fish as a co-angler. So either way, we're getting in on the action and hopefully catching some fish. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.